Hello and welcome back. In today's lab, we are going to be doing the lab 19 that is defending against IP spoofing. If you want to follow along on your computer, here are the instructions. And then rest of the instructions. All right, so let's get started. Let's start our Windows machine over here. So by the looks of it, it's not defending not actively. Uh, maybe, maybe. We'll get to it later on because Wireshark is normally just to detect or scan and review so first thing first let's open fire shark all right so in the network analyzer window select v ethernet so it's going to be v ethernet i told you in the last video so uh, different computers they can have different uh, network interfaces so they want us to select the v ethernet that is u certify switch and below the menu bars click start capturing that should be this <coughs> and minimize the capturing from the ethernet window and from the desktop open putty all right so let's go and work with putty hmm. everything is pre uh, configure <clears throat> and the password is u certify Eight zero is the Ethernet interface. Switch S for what? There is nothing here. One ninety two. So notice here, over here, that this is basically we are giving it a range of IP addresses that it needs to capture or scan. So unfortunately they haven't given us a putty screenshot so i'm not sure if everything went as in they wanted but uh, let's follow along so from the end map we're going to go back to end map <clears throat> so we're going to stop it now this time as broadcast destination for broadcast so I don't have much information over here but they want us to do ARP you go with ARP select this in the destination you try to broadcast <coughs> select save
okay now they are in a part where they want to just verify if i was able to following along uh, sleep So again, the bad thing about uh, you certify, it just makes you do some clicks, but does not do a like any effort to explain to you what happened, what we did, and all that. Extremely distasteful. So let's go here and try to make some sense. So there were some. addresses in that range our range was between 1 and 14 so there is 1 there's 14 and it does say that duplicate use of this is detected and they have their source is saying let's see if we have any other duplicate no so what will happen if we click one of them <clears throat> so this MAC address is 6E2201 is the same MAC address so where is the change there's no change anywhere alright so another not um, very helpful at all lab by you certify but hey we just gotta go with it so I'm gonna go with it I hope this video had or has helped you in any way I don't know if it has <clears throat> even if it has not please rate comment subscribe and share and I see you in the next one